race one win for two years in a row now. Uh, we definitely have the pace to run with the front group. Um, didn't quite show them qualifying, but with the uh, ideal of all the splits together, we were right there with them. So as soon as the race gets going, we're going to be in there. I uh, need a good start. And... I'm here to tell you, the Wolverine's back. I think he's going to be one, two, or three today and tomorrow. They say lightning never strikes twice in the same place. It did, so we're going for three as a charm. Yeah. Which equals the Wolverine, three. Chuck out. <laughs> Still got another 21 laps to prove our worth today. It's kind of strange. We came in here feeling really good from Barber and from Jump, Dane felt wonderful. The bike is handling beautifully. Uh, no problems chassis-wise whatsoever. We just got to start sneaking up on some of, some of the other areas of the bike. We just need to work harder as a team to try and get some more squirt off the corner. And uh, we need to get Dane just a bit more relaxed on the bike. He's just riding so, so hard right now. Dane feels super duper good on the bike. Um, his, his, uh, his feedback is really good. One of the things that we're noticing is if something's wrong, he doesn't come out and go, man, this is really wrong. You guys need to change it one, two, three. He works into it gradually. I think because he doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings or offend anybody, but listen, we're, here, we're not here to preserve anyone's feelings. We're here to get the W and win championships and everything. Um, it's been more of a reality check. I mean, last year we were on the podium 10 times. Right now, we're running a consistent fourth through sixth. Uh, we just need to work a bit harder. And unfortunately, the season is shorter, and uh, we're just we're we're just not where we want to be just yet. I have 100% confidence that we are going to be where we need to be going forward. We just need more time, and we can't buy that right now. We have the technical expertise. We've been uh, the longest continuing operating uh, organization in 33 years. So, um, you know, we have the depth of knowledge and we have the crew members and uh, I have no doubt every bit of faith in Dane and all my Geico motorcycle crew and the Honda machines that we're going to be out front uh, in short order. None of this, none of the transporter or anything None of the 15 people that fly in every weekend, none of this would happen without Chris Ulrich Racing and Geico Motorcycle Insurance. Um, we've got so many people to thank, but truly those are the people that you want to nail first because they're at the head of the ladder. And um, I can't say enough about uh, Keith Perry and, and the rest of the guys back at the shop. We're really starting to learn some things as a group. And um, I will speak uh, adamantly for the five crew. I, I have the hardest working crew in this paddock. They're the most dedicated. I feel the most comfortable around them. I'm, I'm really proud and, and I'm blessed to have them with me. I really am. Six yesterday, we're gonna try to improve on that today and, and you know, see what, what happens going to Laguna Seca and, and uh, Salt Lake City, but uh, it's positive and we're chugging along with that Geico Honda. You know, obviously I gotta thank Chris for giving me a shot at this whole deal and um, I'm glad that we're here together developing a new bike. I think it's gonna be good in the end. We're just uh, climbing a steep mountain right now. Uh, yeah, there was definitely some chaos in that second race there. Uh, I guess a fan dumped some oil on the fan laps and uh, had some, some pretty uh, serious difficulty cleaning that up. It was still out there when we raced, we just had to go around it. And that was definitely a, uh, something to deal with. And also, 
on the start, uh, in the second or third corner, all the guys all bunched up and I was the last guy in the bunch and had to uh, check up pretty good and then a guy made contact with me and uh, everything was fine. We didn't go down or anything, but I mean, that, that let the front group get away and I was really hoping to get off with that front group and we were right there and with the weird conditions, I knew I could take advantage of that and stick on them. So it's just kind of sad for us today. Uh, that we didn't get to take advantage of the uh, inopportune conditions because that's when we shine. We made a little more power, uh, we made some headway on setup. Uh, we're having to set the bike up a certain way just due to the way that the motor works, um, where we have to apply power, is, but we're making progress towards a setup that's going to work for us. Yeah, I mean, the Geico bike's been running really well for me, so I got to throw a shout out to those guys and uh, my whole team. Uh, the Five Finger Death Punch uh, have been really working well for me, and uh, my Honda has been a great platform for us. Chances are, you're not made of money. So don't overpay for motorcycle insurance. GEICO. See how much you could save.